Hello and welcome back to Robotech. Today we're installing Stadia unofficially on the Google TV. So Stadia at some point this year is going to be officially supported on the Google TV. But obviously we want it on there now. So I'll show you how to do it. It's quite a quick easy way. All you need is your phone and the Chromecast Ultra with Google TV. If you like the video drop a like on it. If you really like it get subscribed. Let's get started. All right so the first thing you need to do is grab your phone if you go to APK Mirror and search Stadia, or I'll just drop a link in the description, scroll down a bit and go to all versions. So the latest version at the minute is 3.5.356, whatever. So 3rd of March. So click that little down arrow next to it. You'll get some sort of advert pop up. Click the X in the top, scroll down again, and click this orange download APK. So it will say this type of file can harm your device, but it is okay. It's verified by APK Mirror. Wait for that to download. All right, that's done. All right, so next on your Google TV, if you hold down your Google Assistant button, say send files to TV app. Files to TV on the Google Play Store. So that's the one you want, send files to TV, that little blue icon, install that. While that's installing, you can go back to your phone and download the same app. So you go to the Play Store, send files to TV, install it on your phone as well. You can open it up on your Chromecast, open it up on your phone as well. All right, so in order to use send files to TV on your local network, you need to install the Android application on your TV and on your mobile. So next, so you can send files from the gallery or anything like that by clicking the share button, just like you normally do. Then there's also a desktop app as well. And on your phone, it's gonna need permissions, so allow, and do the same thing on your TV. It's all exactly the same, and allow. All right, so the default directory is SD card download. That's just where it automatically go to when you send it from your phone to your TV. If you tap the back arrow at the top, you get this send and receive. So obviously you want to send to your TV from your phone. If you go in downloads, then look for, you go com Google Stadia Android four minutes ago. Tick that, press a little tick at the top. So then you select the device that you want. So if you've got it open on this, click Chromecast. And there you go, it's sending it to the TV. Nearly done, succeeded. So then you're finished with your phone for now. All right, so we finished with that application, so we need a file manager. So if we hold down the button, uh, file manager. Results for file manager app. So you can pretty much use any of them. Uh, we'll go for this Solid Explorer as the first one. Install that. So once that's installed, you can open it. Yeah, welcome, skip through all that. And then you have to accept the license and done. So obviously we're gonna to have to allow it to look at our files. Now this is a trial one, but yeah. Uh, so in download, we've got the Stadia app, click that. And you wanna open it with package installer. And we can do that for always because any APK file we'll want to use the package installer. So if you get this, unknown apps can't be installed by this user. Click OK. You go back home. Go over to the very end and go settings. Scroll all the way down to system. And then about the Android TV OS build. You tap that loads of times. Well, select it loads of times. You're now a developer. You'll be able to go back and you should have developer menu there. And you can go back and go to apps. Scroll to the bottom, security and restrictions. So unknown sources. We'll let both of them be able to install unknown apps. If you don't enable the developer mode, these options here will be grayed out. You won't be able to do anything. So we can now go back home, go back to apps, 
Maya, see you all. Silent Explorer. So now you can select the Stadia and then it'll install. So do you want to install? Yep, install. So app installed, you can open it. And there we go, you got Stadia. Get started. So now we can't do anything with this controller. We need to go and get another controller. Then we're going to have to Bluetooth the Xbox controller just to get it set up. So if we grab this controller and go home, jump over to settings, go to remotes and accessories, pair remote or accessory, set my Xbox controller up to sync, the lights flashing. There you go, Xbox wireless controller, pairing, pair, that's paired. So there you go, it is under accessories and go home again. And you can actually use the whole menu with the Xbox controller. So if now go to apps again, all those pins, see all the idea. All right, so annoyingly, this button doesn't work. It doesn't work on the Xbox controller either, but apparently if you pair a PS4 controller and swipe the uh, trackpad, you get a little mouse and you can click get started. But we're gonna have to go home and then settings and accessibility, wherever it is. So system, accessibility, and change this talk back to on. Okay, so then we can go home. Home. It's a bit annoying, but we can turn it off after. And it slows the UI down a lot. So then we can go Stadia. Open. So now we can use Get Started. Use that account. That account's got Pro. And there we go, we've got Stadia on. I should be able to just go back to settings now and turn this annoying thing off. Accessibility and talk back off. Now I'll go back to Stadia again. There's got to be a way to put Stadia on there. That button, no. Hold down. If we move, Ah, so that's the order of your apps. So now if we go back to the home, that should be, I would presume, there. That's a lot easier to get to now. And there you go, launching straight into it now. You haven't got to press the get started. But... So that's just a little workaround that they'll obviously fix when they implement it properly. But now, we can use the Xbox controller. All right, so as you can see, you've got the little monitor where it's normally got the play button. So that's going to play on a different device. So if we go up to the top, your little profile icon thing and go down to experiments and then you've got play on this device so you can turn that on go back and now it's the play button and click play but now with the xbox controller we'll be playing on the chromecast ultra or google tv even though it shouldn't be so there you go, we're in game. There's just a normal amount of latency, like if you were playing with the Xbox controller on the PC or whatever. Obviously Optimal is gonna get be able to use a Stadia controller, but currently I can't see how to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any current way to use a Stadia controller, which obviously would be the perfect experience, but it's working very well with the Xbox pad. Right, so now you know how to install Stadia on your Chromecast Ultra with Google TV. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you're looking for something else to watch, check out my channel. I guarantee there'll be something that you like. Goodbye.